What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious, coming at you with my top songs of 2023. So I recently did my top albums list. I decided I wanted to talk about some of the songs that made those albums great, and sometimes some songs that weren't on those albums in the first place. After all, what is a great album besides a collection of great songs? So let's jump into it. Enchanted Island by Rexoria. This was the one that made the album top tier for me. Besides it, it was a very good symphonic metal album, but this one completely elevated it. The melodies are fantastic, the chorus is great, and this is something I've always been fond of. Lyrics that don't match the general mood. In the same way that I Remember You by Skid Row was viewed as a love song when it's actually a guy looking back on the love he used to have, I'm pretty sure this song is about death. Someone I knew thought suicide, but I'm not sold on that. It's talking about fallen heroes. In a way, it's kind of a good victory march song in the sense of that's a life well lived. Moving on. Opus of the Night by Camelot. As I brought up, Tommy is killing it, and I think this song is most emblematic of their current style. This is the kind of kick-ass chorus that I think was totally missing from the Shadow Theory. There's a wonderful sense of urgency, and it kind of goes back to the old darker Camelot. They were never like a Freedom Call style power metal band, but they had some medieval elements, and this one harkens back to that. Angus McSix, Amazons of Caledonia. As previously mentioned, he and Glory Hammer split, and it was rather acrimonious, but I think he came back swinging pretty hard. I remember hearing the song for the first time while I was working, and I just paused because the chorus grabbed me. There was talk that maybe his vocals were the reason why they dismissed him, but this should do away with any notion of that being true. Great chorus, great feel, great mood, great song. The Metal Fest by Freedom Call. I previously did a review just for this song. I mean, and the live album that came with it, but mostly this song. And months later, it's still in rotation for me. Freedom Call always has been a band that you listen to and you want to remember why life is great. A lot of metal is meant to, like, get your negative emotions out. But this is more about focusing on the positive, taking the dive into the deep end of a really great pool on a hot summer day. Or that amazingly decadent chocolate cake that you're not supposed to have on your diet, but damn it, you want it anyway. Thanks for doing what you do, Freedom Call. Or as I like to call you, budget therapy. Okay, controversial pick because it's not metal at all. Waiting by Mammoth Van Halen. There's a lot of people online that will diss Wolfgang Van Halen as riding his father's coattails, but motherfucker, that guy is talented as could be. He is a way better singer than I think any contemporary of his, and a killer songwriter to boot. It's refreshing to hear something resembling old school rock music, not necessarily metal, but the last 10 years have been Imagine Dragon style bullshit. I wish it was more like this. Moving on. Ride North for Winterhold by Battleborn. There were many fantastic songs on this album, but this is the one I revisit the most. I'm going to use this phrasing again. There's a sense of urgency in the vocal delivery that moves you and makes you feel like you're part of something great. If the tour with Fellowship never materializes, they should tour with Dragon Force so they can have a War of the Skyrim songs between this and The Last Dragonborn by Dragon Force. Last but not least, Highlands of the Elder Dragon by Twilight Force. Again, who's going to be surprised by me putting this at top? I absolutely adored There and Back Again off of Heroes of Mighty Magic, and I thought by far the best song on Dawn of the Dragon Star was Blade of Immortal Steel, so I eagerly look forward to the 10-minute songs that came out on this album, and this was the better of the two. It's got the magic, it's got the vocals, it's got the melodies, it's got everything I would want in a long Twilight Force song, or any Twilight Force song for that matter. So let's look forward to 2024 and hope that our year ends are anywhere near as exciting as this one. In the meantime, I recommend Majestica's Christmas Carol album and Girl School's Auld Lang Sign cover. Thanks for being a part of this, everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Well, hey, friends. My name is Zach Lupiton. You may know me from the band Dust Bowl Revival, but I also host a music discovery podcast called The Show on the Road. For the last five seasons, I've been able to dive deep and have intimate chats with folks like the Lumineers, Andy DeFranco, Wolfpack, Keb Moe, Lake Street Dive, Bela Fleck, and more. So guess what? After 150 conversations with some of my favorite songwriters from around the world, we are bringing brand new episodes to the Osiris Network. New interviews and intimate acoustic performances will be coming at you this summer. And which episodes are coming next, you ask? 
I am Zach Goody, the lead singer for the band Smash Mouth. Our band is called Milky Chance. We are based in Berlin. My name is David Shaw. I sing and write songs with my band, The Revivalists. Trust me, these conversations go some wild places. So subscribe to the show on the road on Osiris, and we'll see you soon. Again.